Coral reefs attract millions of snorkelers the world over. Why? Because of their incredible beauty. Coral reefs are home for thousands of species. It's a fantastic parade of colorful creatures. Although coral reefs cover less than 1% of the sea bottom, they are home to more than 25% of all marine species. Coral reefs are the oldest and largest living structures on the planet. So large, they're actually visible from space. Snorkeling lets you experience the stunning beauty of the coral reef. It's not hard to learn and you don't need to purchase a lot of equipment to enjoy it. If you can swim, you can take the plunge. Gliding over the reef, your mask is a window on the world below, with its dazzling variety of tropical fish and corals. Visiting this amazing environment is both a unique privilege and a special responsibility. Corals are extremely delicate creatures. You'll need to learn certain skills to avoid touching them. During this program, we'll explore the reef and learn the basic skills for low-impact snorkeling. These techniques will increase your confidence, making your snorkeling experience that much easier, safer, and more enjoyable. The first step is selecting the right gear. The mask enables you to see underwater by maintaining a watertight space of air around your eyes. Here's how to make sure it fits properly and doesn't leak. Only the skirt or outer edge should contact your face. Without the strap in place, hold the mask up to your face and gently inhale through your nose. It should stay in place. The less you need to inhale, the better the fit. A snorkel allows you to breathe face down in the water. Some types are designed to let water drain out through a purge valve. Fins propel your body through the water with minimal effort. Pick a size that feels snug but not too tight. The fourth and final piece of equipment is a snorkel vest. That's all the basic equipment you'll need to get started. Now let's get wet. Before you go snorkeling on a coral reef, practice these skills first in the pool or a shallow sandy area where you can stand without touching any fragile corals. First, place some anti-fogging solution in your mask to prevent it from fogging, or use some saliva. Adjust your mask and snorkel for a comfortable fit. Then, get used to breathing through your snorkel. Float on the surface, taking calm, even breaths. The optimum position to snorkel without touching the reef with your hands or fins is in a horizontal position, flat on the surface, with arms at your side. Occasionally, some water will get in your snorkel. Use what's called the blast method to get rid of it. Forcefully exhale a blast of air to eject the water from the snorkel. Then breathe in gently to make sure you forced all the water out. Water can also accumulate in your mask. To clear it, tilt your head back and gently pull the bottom of your mask away from your face. Practice until you can clear your mask in three easy motions. Some snorkelers prefer the side clearing method. Practice till you can float in a horizontal position while doing these skills. Resist the temptation to stand or tread water. Snorkel vests have many advantages. A vest provides support. It's easier to lift your head if you need to clear your mask or talk to your buddy. And the vest will keep your body horizontal on the water's surface where it won't touch the reef. The extra flotation will do wonders for the reef, your comfort, and your peace of mind. The key to easy snorkeling and protecting the reef is keeping your body flat on the water's surface. Relax and let the water support your body. Always avoid standing or treading water. Why is that important? Because corals are extremely delicate creatures. 
Their tissue is thinner than paper. Just casual touching with your hand or bumping with your fins can tear the coral's tissue or break off a piece of the coral colony. Also be careful to avoid kicking up sand that can settle over the corals and smother the coral colony. Always be aware of your body's position in relation to the reef, especially your fins. While you're exploring, try to avoid swimming over the top of shallow reef areas. Swim around the edges instead. Maintain at least one body length distance between you and the reef surface. And remember that wearing fins makes your feet a lot longer and more prone to touching the reef or stirring up sand. The most comfortable way to swim is in a horizontal position using a gentle scissor kick. There's no need to stroke with your arms. Who said snorkeling has to be work? Take your time exploring the coral kingdom. Every square meter of the coral reef is full of marine life. You'll see a lot just by floating in one spot and you'll be less likely to frighten fish away. While you're watching the beautiful tropical fish, please avoid feeding them. Fish feeding can introduce unhealthy food items and disrupt their natural behavior. Also avoid the temptation to collect souvenirs. Everything in the reef has a purpose, so anything you remove could affect the reef ecosystem. Bring along a camera instead and bring back memories for everyone to share. We can explore the incredible coral reef and protect its fragile beauty just by taking these easy steps to responsible snorkeling. Avoid standing or treading water. Practice clearing your mask until you can float in a horizontal position while doing this skill. Always maintain a safe distance from corals. The easiest and safest way to swim or float is flat on the water's surface. By performing these skills, not only will you protect the reef, you'll have more confidence exploring it. Take your time and enjoy the coral kingdom. You can practice reef conservation in other ways, at home and when you travel. Remember the three R's of pollution prevention. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let your elected representatives know that healthy reefs are important to you. Tell them that you support marine protected areas, strong water quality controls, and other reef protection measures. Get involved in coral reef monitoring. Donate your time and travel to volunteer projects. They're fun and worthwhile. By snorkeling in a responsible way and taking action now, we can protect these incredible ecosystems and ensure a future where our children and grandchildren can explore one of the most amazing places on the planet, the coral reef.